Hi, in this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in JE Advanced 2014 and it's a limit problem and we need to find out the limit at x tends to pi by 2 whatever given right so basically it's a trigonometric form so therefore using the trigonometric calculation we have to find out the limit right so it's a very straightforward problem only here the calculation is a issue let's go ahead and see how we perform the calculation step by step to achieve the final result let's go so first we consider the limit as limit x tends to pi by 2 fx by gx where fx is the denominator and numerator. So therefore fx is equal to 4 root 2 uh, sin 3x plus sin x and gx whatever they are in the denominator right that's it. Now here we need to simplify that right. So let's go ahead and simplify fx and gx separately. So that something common will be omitted because if we apply that x tends to pi by 2, it will be 0 by 0 form. So that's why we can't go ahead. So now we consider that fx and try to simplify. It. Now here notice that we have to recall the formula that sine a plus b is equal to 2 sine of a plus b by 2 and cos a minus b by 2. So therefore, in this case, a is equal to 3x, b is equal to x. So therefore, Therefore, we get it as sine 3x plus x, so sine uh, 4x by 2, so sine 2x plus 3x minus 1, it's 2x and also on. So therefore, apply that, we'll get it as sine 3x plus x divided by 2, sine 3 cos 3x minus x divided by 2, which give it as sine 2x and cos x. Now also notice that, that sine 2x can be expanded as using the sine 2x formula, that is 2 sine x and cos x. So therefore, it will be 16 root 2 sine cos x and we just keep it as it is let's go ahead and now simplify the function gx let's consider the function gx and now here also we see that there are too many functions right so we just separate it now here we notice that we have a function right or of a form root 2 p if i take common it will be 1 plus cos 2x which gives us cos square x which may be cancelled out so that's our aim so that's why we rearrange the term right we rearrange the term so here we recall that first formula 2 sine a sine b which is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b so therefore this function will be written as cos of 2x minus 3x by 2 and 2x plus 3x by 2 so if we do so we get it as cos x by 2 cos 7x by 2 and the cos 2x can be written as as 2 cos square x minus 1 1 1 get cancelled so therefore we get it as 2 root 2 cos square x also now we just write down in a different pairs so we write cos x by 2 and 3x by 2 together 5x by 2 and 7x by 2 together so this is the steps we are performing now let's go ahead right so again we need to apply that sum sum rule sum to product rule let's go ahead now notice that we need to now recall the formula that cos a minus b so what about that here cos a minus cos b so a plus b means x by 2 plus 3x by 2 divided by 2 and cos a b sine b minus a means that x by 2 my 3x by 2 minus x by 2 divided by 2 so if we calculate we get the formula so if we apply in both cases we get it as 2 sin x sin x by 2 sin 2 sin 3x sin x by 2 minus 2 root 2 cos square x so this is a very straightforward calculation but we have to be concentrated on our calculation to see the process if we make a mistake yeah we are gone right let's go ahead so now we see these things right let's proceed further so now we need to rewrite that if i take 2 sin x by 2 common right we get it as sin x plus sin 3x and whatever is ex exists just leave it as it is now again we can apply the formula what is sin a plus sin b which is 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 so if we apply that we get it as 2 sin 2x and cos x that's it now see that we can take cos x common but we can need to apply the cos x once again by applying the formula of sin 2x so let's go ahead and uh, uh, do the so now let's change that sin 2x by 2 sin x cos x so therefore the last slide we can write it as 8 sin x by 2 sin x cos square x minus 2 root 2 cos square x cos square x can be taken out as a common so we take 2 cos square x common so it will be 4 sin x by 2 sin x minus root 2 we need to find the limit fx by gx 
fx. So let's calculate fx by gx, which is equal to then 16 root 2 sin x cos square x and gx, whatever the simplified we have. Now, cos square x and cos square x can be cancelled out from the denominator and numerator. 2 and 16 will be 8. So therefore, it can be easily written as 8 root 2 sin x divided by whatever may be, right, which can be easily seen in the screen. Now, we need to apply the limit. Now, see that if I apply the take the limit L extends to 2 pi by 2 fx by gx, we observe that sine pi by 2, sine pi by 2 is non-zero, right? Sine 0 is 0, so it's 1. And if I apply that sine pi by 2, sine pi by 4, so it is not 0. So it will be not a 0 by 0 form or an undeterminate form, right? So therefore, we can see that x equal to pi by 2 is not a singular point, is a regular point corresponding to the limit. So therefore, so therefore, we can directly substitute x equal to pi by 2 and do the remaining calculation. So sine pi by 2, 1, sine pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2. So if we do so, we uh, calculate step by step the small arithmetic calculation and we get the limit as 8. And that's why for this particular problem, option A is the limiting value of the given function. So it's a very straightforward problem, but only the complication in the trigonometric calculation. So we have to be so much concentrated on our put our concentration on that calculation and applying the sine A plus B, sine A minus B, 2 sine A, sine B, all those formulas, right? And apply in a right way to achieve our result. You, it, to make this simplification, you may go ahead and when we do that uh, combination, right, as you've seen, right, so that combination may be different, you may lead the answer, right, so you can try in different methods, right, different ways of comb combining the concept so that we can remove the singularity, that's up to you, hope you understood the problem, thank you.